there are a lot of great boss fights in classic World of Warcraft, and we get to experience them all again in Season of Discovery. But have you ever faced a raid boss and thought, this can't be it, right? Well, today we're going to be discussing probably the most disappointing raid boss so far in Season of Discovery. Careful going ahead as there are spoilers, but if you've been paying attention to the community for the past few days, this might no longer be a spoiler. So enter at your own risk. A few days ago, the guild None of the Above killed Ragnaros on heat level 3 and found the secret 11th boss of the Molten Core. And it was none other than the Molten Core itself. Wait, what? Yes, that's right. The secret 11th boss of the Molten Core raid is the actual core itself. And after defeating Ragnaros, a bunch of water elementals come out and start spraying the lava, causing the core to come out of the lava as a solid rock, only to have the molten inside burst from its shell. So before we get into the actual battle, let's take a moment to see what the community thought of the actual secret boss. Ragnaros's flaming ball sack. Nice. <laughs> With bosses like Sinestra, Cho'Gal, and Raiden, why is the only thing Blizzard can cook up for Sod a effing magma ball that says nothing and does next to nothing? Private servers can and have put out better custom bosses than this. I feel like I've watched an unranked, barely running private server show off a barely scripted custom boss. Thematically, very cool. Design-wise, what a wet fart of a boss. After all the redesigned raid encounters we got in BFD, Nomergon, and Sunken Temple, and this is the best that they can come up with, not hating, but this is rather weak in my opinion. On the last clip, are these people fighting the fire edition of Ozma from Final Fantasy IX? There is probably nothing worse than having the community think that you were so lazy that you just took a boss from another game reskinned it and called it a day. There were a few people who thought that this boss was kind of cool, saying things like funny but bizarre, and I think the concept of fighting the Molten Core itself is pretty neat. But overall, it doesn't look like a lot of people were really excited about this boss. And I'm a pretty easygoing guy, but I have to agree with the sentiment. This boss was just kind of like, eh. So how hard is this boss? This thing has a staggering 4 million health, which is almost twice the health of Ragnaros himself, and comes with a handful of fight mechanics, like Flame Burst, Flare, Meteor, and a bunch of adds that come out that you have to kill. Even with all of this, none of the above was able to get a kill on their second attempt, which seems really disappointing. Now, I haven't done this boss yet, and I'm not saying it's going to be easy for people. However, when you compare this with other world firsts, it just seems very underwhelming in regards to difficulty. I think the difficulty for this fight and heat level three is all about getting the right amount of fire resistance and less about the mechanics. In fact, almost all of the raid had the Duke's domain trinket. So if you have to rely on managing multiple trinkets that increase fire resistance, I don't think it's a really good mechanic. That 11th fight looked incredibly dull. How disappointing. Laugh my ass off. That last secret boss, just a big sphere of fire doing absolutely nothing. So what kind of amazing loot does this boss drop? Well, it actually looks like it drops an assortment of loot from all the other bosses. So no boss specific loot? Doesn't look like it. Although there isn't an official loot table that I was able to find, there is a Wowhead article that states it just gives loot from all the other bosses in a presumable effort to make sure that the boss remains optional. On one hand, I think it's a good move. Don't pressure players into feeling like they have to kill a specific boss that's probably going to be hard for a lot of people to get to in order to get the best loot. This is all about their initiative to be more inclusive to all players and not tailored towards the hardcore. However, I think they should have given at least something unique. It didn't have to be a best in slot, but something on par with what you can get from other bosses, or even a Molten Core pet or something. Overall, I love the fact that Blizzard is taking risks and trying new things, like adding new dungeons and raid bosses. But the amount of effort that it takes to get to this secret boss 
I just felt like it was a huge letdown. There could have been so many different things that they could have done to make this encounter better. Please let me know in the comments below what you think about this boss and how you think Blizzard could have made it better.